What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Got a special little treat for you today. Um, so I got an idea from this uh, in the comment section from your underscore patty underscore boy YT. And today's video is going to entail the first ever Jemai Jets that I ever purchased. And we're just going to do a quick review of it and just a quick look at it. Um, and just a little backstory here. Um, I first got into collecting Jemai Jets in 2008 and really started collecting model airplanes um, as far back as 2003, um, I used to have a lot of Hogan models and a lot of Skymark planes. And then actually for the, for the OGs out there, actually probably back in the 06, 07 timeframe, I think I had two or three Jemai Jet 1250 scales. And those were pretty neat. Uh, they had the retractable landing gears. And I think I had an Altalia MD-80 and then an Alaska MD-80. And there may have been one more I had. Um, but officially I got into collecting one to 400 models in 08 and, you know, what inspired me to start was kind of pretty much all the years of actually collecting different variation of planes. But of course, you know, watching YouTube videos back then, there wasn't a whole lot of people that made them, but I definitely got inspired by it and wanting to do a model airport. Um, I'll probably make another video one day, just, you know, what truly got me inspired, but I don't want to drag this one out because this is just, you know, just a single plane and just to kind of throw back to old times. But anyways, um, we were flying to Pittsburgh, uh, May of 08 to go to a family wedding. And um, we were flying JetBlue. Uh, we flew Charlotte JFK, JFK Pittsburgh. And ironically, we flew the same plane. It was November 216 Juliet Bravo, Stripes, Embraer 190 uh, to JFK. And then it was the same plane to Pittsburgh, which was kind of funny. Um, and yeah, uh, for some reason, I just was really hooked on, you know, wanting to get a JetBlue plane. It was the second and third time I would have flown JetBlue because we flew them for the first time in 2007 from Pittsburgh to New York to Charlotte. So that's kind of what got me into wanting to get a JetBlue plane. And that ended up being my first model airplane, actually. So with that being said, this plane was released in 2008. I apologize for the box. It is 2008 and I've had this for, you know, it's 2020 now. So you can imagine how many years it's been since. Um, it's crazy to think that this plane is 12 years old at this point. <laughs> It'll be 12 years old this May if we're keeping track. Um, so this is the Bubbles A320, um, exclusive release to the JetBlue shop at the time. Uh, this was the only place you could find it, I've, I'm not mistaken. But here's the front of it. And um, you flip over. This is the name of its Bubbles. So there's the Bubbles right there. And then here's the tail design. Really miss these tails. Um, and then right here, here's you know just some more designs for you. And you know, the box is really beat up, I apologize. But... Um, it's been, I'm surprised it's made it this far. I've had this forever. So it's kind of, kind of nice to have this plane. So here's the sides for you and we'll go ahead and get things started here. Just getting everything flipped open. A lot of damage done, but it's still somewhat intact. All right. So then here's the uh, airplane for you. And we'll continue on getting it opened up here. Get rid of the plastic. All right, here it is. So here is the JetBlue A320 in the bubbles tail. Um, registration N558 Julia Bravo. And ironically, I think this plane's on Infinite Flight, if I'm not mistaken. The name of the plane is Song Sung Blue. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't played Infinite Flight in a while, but if I remember correctly, the one they had was um, this exact plane, to be honest with you. So here it is. Um, at the time, this aircraft seated 150 people. Um, now with the revised, or the new seating they have, uh, additional seats there's 162 that can sit on this plane um if i'm not mistaken i believe this is a it's either a blueberries or a tartan or a barcode plane this time i want to say it's either tartan if i had to guess um it's not blue bubbles anymore unfortunately but um you know back in the good old days when the you, you never had to worry about a gym on gym model they were all you know on point really miss this tail this was what i would consider the classic tails um the classic tails included um, plaid, dots, window pane, stripes, harlequin, uh, bubbles. Uh, if you don't remember plaid, plaid was, uh, I actually have it right over here. I'll grab it for you. This is a really rare one. This one's plaid. It wasn't around for too long, but it was a tail, trust me, uh, back in that, you know, 07, 08, 09 period. But that was plaid. And if I miss any of the other classic ones, I think mosaic was the other one that I forgot to list, but... Um, as of now, they keep at least one of each classic tail on a on an A320. Um, but for the E190s, you know they're all gone. The only ones that remain are blueberries, barcode plaid. I'm mean, not plaid. Tartan, 
and obviously the paint scheme blueprint plane. And then, you know, for the A320s, like I said, they have one of each classic tail. And then they have, you know, all the other ones, Barco, Blueberries, uh, Balloon, you know, all the new ones as well. So at the time, I believe this plane was like $25. So if you, you can tell how much things have gone up, um, you know, since 2008. I mean, these planes today would be $35. Um, you know, I wish we could go back to these molds. They're a lot better, a lot simpler times. You know, you never had to worry about, you know, really anything for that matter. Um, but I'll show you the belly view real quick before we wrap things up here. Um, so here we go. So it looks good, man. It's good times, good times indeed. So yeah, airport's a little messy right now. I did promise you guys that I do have the collection video coming. So if this, you know, we're, we're a lot of, a lot of ways to go. So, uh, you know, there's, that's kind of why I haven't really done anything yet, but so yeah, this was the unboxing of my first ever Gemini jet model. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll try to think of different random stuff like that to do more often. Like I think the next one I'll probably do is my first wide body Gemini jet one to two, one to 400 model. And ironically it was this one right here. So I probably do a video on my first, you know, review of a, of a wide body I got. I just think that might be kind of fun to do. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the near future. Thanks again.